Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Heavy Club Clean and Press. Clean and Press is in your training no matter what implement you use. In Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding, that is the exercise to develop a truly Herculean physique. I remember reading that in like the early 90s, and it's been in my brain forever. You do it with kettlebells. Kettlebells are probably the easiest, best way to get the most out of Clean and Press in the least amount of time. You do it with dumbbells. If you go to CrossFit, they will have you doing barbell and dumbbell clean and press. The one that gets left out, but the one that everybody should do, is the heavy club clean and press. Think of heavy club swinging as Paleolithic Olympic lifting. It is the oldest form of weight training known to man, and every martial art in history that's really well-developed has some version of this exercise in it. The difference with the heavy club clean and press is that the press is going straight out in front instead of straight up overhead. In the real world, if you're doing combat sports, you're striking straight out in front. People do this every day. If you open a refrigerator and take out milk and pull it towards you and put it back in, you're doing a front press, not an overhead press, not a bench press, a standing front press. The club is the best way to train this action. We found this sexy rock here, so we're gonna do it on this rock. As with all club exercises, we're going to point our feet straight ahead. We do not need to turn out like you do with specific forms of weightlifting. The weights aren't that heavy, and it's a natural form of lifting. The club moves around your body. You don't have to move your body around the implement like you do with, say, barbell. The club is directly between the insteps of our feet. We're gonna get down two hands straight. This is the hard part for most people. The hand closest to the bottom or the knob of the club, people wanna bend that elbow. That's fine with light weights. It does not work when you get to heavy weights. Rotate this shoulder back, drive the lat down until that elbow is locked. The body is rotated from the starting position. Clean, drive up from the legs, end up in the order position. The top hand is the one that matters. Top hand is a 90 degree angle. The top hand is the dominant hand. The bottom hand will be slightly below 90 degrees. Elbows on the body. Press. Press straight out, hand equal with the bottom of the nose. Press straight out, pull it in, go over the high side hand, touch down, straight arms. Pick it up with the legs. This is a glute exercise. Pick it up, straight legs, squeeze the glutes. As you do the press, you're gonna feel your glutes squeeze harder. That's the point. Press, lock out, pull in. Straight arms, touch down. Legs drive up through the heels. Press, pull, touch. Four movements. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The easiest way to do this is to exhale at the end point of every movement. Exhale, 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 exhale. The thing that people mess up with this is in the core. Number one, get to the top and they don't straighten out their elbows. Straighten out your elbows. The goal is to rotate your elbow pit towards the sky. That gets harder and harder depending on what your dynamics of your skeleton is, but that is the goal. Two hands on, ring the club. Top hand is at the level of the nose. When people do that, they tend to have the tendency to drive their hips forward and let their core go. Don't do that. Drive the core down. Think about leaning forward in this position. Straight legs locked out, glutes tight, rib cage down, lats drive away from the ears, so the lats are on. You are practicing standing up well, as you are with all versions of clean and press. The difference is with a heavy club clean and press, you are wrapping your body around the weight to compress your core. Think of this like a gymnastics or a circus core contraction. Rib cage down, hold it as tight as possible. The second the club gets to order, the glutes are on and they stay on through the push and the pull. Everybody should be doing clean and press. Everybody, every age, every sport, doesn't matter. You should learn it with everything. Barbell, kettlebell, dumbbell, club. 
then sandbag, then round sandbag, then atlas stone. You should be really good at this. The club one is the one that most people leave out. Make sure you put it back in.